Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about complex functions. So now I will show you how to answer. So I can put about z equals to a plus bi. So we have this one in here. So I will change z into a plus bi. Now, we have a minus 2. This is about the real. And b minus 2. This is about imaginary unit. So, the formula of this one, you will have about the square root. This one, we put the power 2. This one, b minus 2, we put the power 2 and equals to number 1 because we have the formula in here. Let's say we have z equal to a plus bi. If we put this one go inside the absolute value of z, you got about the square root of a square plus b square. So a in here represent about a minus 2, b represent about b minus 2, and that's why you got like this. Now we need to cancel about the square root, and you got about number 1. Now they want to find the minimum of the absolute value of z minus 1. But we need to expand this one. And then you got about a square minus 4a plus 4 plus b square minus 4b plus 4 equals to number 1. So we have this one in here. And we need to change z into a plus bi. So we apply the same formula in here. And you got about the square root of a minus b or a a minus 1 everything to the power of 2 plus b square in here so we need to expand this one and you got about a square minus 2a plus 1 so we need to transform this one into this one negative 4a we put about negative 2a negative 2a we put number one in here that means we need to minus number one so we have a square minus 2a we put positive number one going here b square we put in here so everything not belongs to this one we put on the right so we have 1 plus 2a plus 1 minus 4 plus 4b minus 4 and now we need to simplify 1 plus 1 you got about 2 2 minus 4 9 minus 4 you got about negative number 6. And then we need to transform this one into this one. Now, we can create about the function in here. That's about FAP equals to this one and 3ap so that's a about this one now we can use about the range multiplier 
So I will put about radians of f equals to lambda radiant of g so I will do first the derivative of f with respect to a so we got about number 2 now we do First, the derivative of g with respect to a, so you got about two a minus two, and we have lambda we put in here. Similar for b. Now we simplify number two, number two, number four, number two. Next, we divide both sides by a minus 2 and b minus 2. Oh, sorry. Uh, we can do on this way. So, we 1 divide by lambda. Uh, we can find the value of a in here. So I will go about a minus 2 and later that negative number 2 we put on the left. So we divide both sides by lambda. So you go about 2 over lambda in here. Equals to b minus 2. So we put negative number 2 going here. And we got about b. Now we have this equation in here. So I will change a into this one. And b we change by this one. And now we simplify. And you got about 0 in here. This one you got about 0 in here. So, this one you got about 1 over lambda square. This one you got about 4 lambda square. If we sum two fractions in here, you got about 5 over lambda square. And now, I will put number 1 go to the left, lambda square go to the right. And you got about number 5. Later that we put the square root for the both sides. So we have two solutions. That's about lambda equals to the square root of number 5. And the second one, lambda equals to negative with the square root of number 5. Next, we put back in here to find the value of A and B. So, we have this one in here, and this one going here. Now, if lambda equals to the square root of number 5, we can find the value of A and B in here. So, we have the value of A. So, we put this one going here. And B equals to this one. Now we put the square root of number 5 going here. After we find the value of A and B, we go back to this one. Or you can use about this one. 
they are same so the value of this one in here we put this one go in here and p we use about this one and this is the final answer that's it about the square root of number five plus one now the second one that's about negative of the square root of number five we put in here and here the value of this one we change from here so we calculate about this one and we got the square root of number 5 minus 1 so we compare which one should be about the minimum that's e about this one so the minimum of the square root of, of the absolute value of z minus 1 from here that's e equals to the square root of number 5 minus 1 and this is the final answer this is the end Thank you for watching.